India has been continuously a steadfast and trusted friend of Afghanistan. Our strong relationship is rooted not just in the closeness of our government, but also in our shared rich history, culture, values, and people-to-people -people bonds. During the past decade, India's general support of some $2 billion in humanitarian and economic aid, which makes India the largest regional and one of our major donors, has certainly left a mark on our reconstruction in development efforts and therefore on the well-being of our people, for which the people of Afghanistan are forever grateful. Over the coming decade, Afghanistan's challenge will be managing the transition and its economic impact as the international security forces prepare to leave our country. We see the transition as an opportunity for Afghanistan to move towards self-reliance in playing a vital role as an active regional and global player where our abundant natural resources are developed to international standards and where Afghanistan regains its rightful historic role as the land bridge that connects Central and South Asia in the Middle East. It's in this context that India's role in Afghanistan becomes even more important. Afghanistan is a poor country for sure, but it's endowed with a rich land, possessing abundant undeveloped mineral resources valued in trillions of dollars. Our deposits of metals, hydrocarbons and other materials needed to build and maintain modern economies have the, have the potential to transform Afghanistan and contribute to regional economic growth. Interest in producing these minerals has been global. The government of Afghanistan is taking steps to realize the full potential of the sector by laying the foundations for enabling environment conducive for private sector investment. Our national and regional resource corridor program is building the necessary road and rail infrastructure and our Ministry of Mines is leading bold governance reforms in pursuing a highly transparent tendering program for valuable mineral deposits. To date, Afghanistan has awarded the mining rights to two world class mineral deposits, the Ainak Copper deposit in 2008, and more recently, the Hajigak Iron deposit, the largest block of which was awarded to a consortium led by Steel Authority of India. I hope this is not the first and last, but the first in a series of great investments by Indian companies in Afghanistan. Our heads of state strengthened our already strong relationship with the signing of the strategic partnership agreement late last year. At the occasion of signing, our president said that the agreement was for Afghanistan to benefit from the strength of India and that India fortunately had the strength to do so. I also believe that Afghanistan has a lot to offer as well. Access to Afghanistan's resources can support the Indian economy as it continues its steady growth. Indian companies stand in a unique position to assist Afghanistan to transform itself in the region through the development of these resources. Indian companies have proven themselves to be among the most competitive in the world. This combined with the long-standing friendship and understanding between our nations and our proximity position Indian companies to be our preferred development partners. I therefore encourage Indian companies' interest in investment in Afghanistan as I believe that this will contribute to the prosperity of both nations and further strengthen our strong friendship. Thank you.